Do you know you can use PowerPoint to create this super cute and simple fireplace animation? You don't believe me? Well, stick with me to the end of this video because I will show you step by step of how you can make this super cute animation yourself. Alright, let's go! So we we'll start by selecting this rectangle shape and then you want this rectangle to be in the middle of your slide and then um, not only that you can um, adjust the size as much as you want then you want another rectangle this one is going to be a little bit longer and then goes from the top to almost hitting the middle one and then you want another rectangle as well this one is going to be a long thin rectangle that line um, horizontally with the first one and then you want to adjust everything to be centered okay and then adjust the size lips as well you click on this this long and thin rectangle then you control D to duplicate this because we need these two uh, long thin rectangles to be the mantle of the fireplace and then um, you want the middle of the fireplace so uh, select this arc shape this arch shape is going to be the middle of your fireplace and you can actually adjust the size as much as you want you want it big you can make it bigger or smaller um, as you want okay I'm going to adjust this a little okay and now you control and then you click on both elements Wait, hold on let me just move this I think the position is not quite right so I'm gonna make it a little bigger so like I said, you can actually change the size as much as you want. Um, you can actually change the position. You can add a little bit more elements as well if you want. Okay, you click on these two elements by uh, hold on to the control on your keyboard. And then you go to the shape fill and you want to select this brick pattern. And for the foreground, you want to go with the light brown kind of uh, color. So let's select this more like an orange dark orange but I think it's more like a dark brown for me and then for the background you want to select the uh, the dark brown and of course you don't want the shape outline so go ahead and select with no outline and then for the mantles um, you want to select on both definitely hold on to the control on your keyboard and then click on the color solid color and dark brown no shape outline um, okay, let me adjust this position of this a little bit so it doesn't have the space here. I'm going to change the position and move it um, by using the arrow uh, on my keyboard, okay? Because that it's easier than using my mouth. Okay, then I want to change this sorry a little bit. So I'm just gonna switch this uh, the foreground to be a uh, dark brown and then the background to be the light brown. Okay, this is much better. Alright, so um, for the shape effect as well, you want to add shape effect to this mantle and you want to go to preset number 3. And then for the fireplace itself, let's see. Okay, so you want the shape effect to be the preset, I think I'm gonna go with preset number 5, which is so good already. Then of course with this, uh, the top of the fireplace as well for the uh, preset number 5. And then with the middle of this mantle, you want to select something like an orange. I already selected this orange, so you can actually go ahead and select a little bit um, more if you want. And then for the fire itself, I use this uh, teardrop shape and you want to adjust um, the pointy thing to be a little bit longer and you go to the gradient fill what you want is the gradient stop number one on the right side you want to select red and the second one which is the middle one you want to select um, the orange um, look for the orange and then for the last one on the left side it's gonna be yellow so right now it's already yellow which is good Alright, then of course you don't want the um, outline, so go ahead and select shape, no shape outline. And now you want the red to be on the top, on the bottom of this um, shape. So you want to check with what direction that is good um, with this shape. So let's see. You say I can go 45 degrees. I don't think it's good. Okay, maybe on the left. Um, okay, this is probably okay, but. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with just the original, so just the bottom, okay, like a horizontal bottom, which is already good, okay, so you need another 
shape sorry another uh, teardrop shape and you want this to be pointing on the opposite direction of the first one so the first one is pointing to the right um, this one is going to point to the left and you want to kind of like superimpose this a little bit um, like an overlap a little bit not really like superimpose sorry and then you want to adjust the location and everything and then you go to the gradient field and it's going to be the same color with the first one with no shape outline but you need to just change the direction but type it's going to be linear and then direction maybe with the uh, bottom left like an angle for 135 degrees which would be better in this case and I'm going to change the gradient stops to have more yellow so I have yellow more towards the um, little bit and then a little bit more orange as well so let's see you can actually move these uh, stops around so you have like more yellow more orange or more red uh, whatever you want okay all right I think I'm gonna go with this so then we will waste time let me just adjust the angle a little bit I want it to point a little bit up okay then you have the select another one so we actually need uh, three of this teardrop shape and this one is going to be in the middle so make sure that it's not too big but it's going to be a little bigger than the first two and it's going to be pointier as well this is going to cover both of the that we did already okay and you go to the gradient fill of course it's going to be the same color as the first and the second one and let me adjust this stop a little bit let's see I think it's it's okay now oh sorry all right I think this is okay now and of course with no shape outline and let's see is that alright? okay I think that's okay you want to select everything and set control and press control G to group everything together then you drag it into the middle of the fireplace and you want to control um, D to duplicate this because you need two of these okay the first one you're gonna make it a little bit smaller then the second one then you want to tilt it a little bit to the left then the second one you want to tilt this a little bit to the right kind of rotate this a little bit to the right so it has like some like overlap kind of a feature okay and then we're gonna add the first one um, an animation effect and what we want is the emphasis and you select the teeter and use duration is gonna be three start with the previous and you want to double click on this and make sure that for the timing repeat you go ahead and set to next click and set okay that's the first one and the second one you want to kind of like put it right on top of that first one and then um, you okay and then after that you want to go ahead and add the animation as well and it's going to be emphasis for pulse and then for the duration you want this to be 2.5 and with the previous of course then you double click on this go to tiny repeat and you have to set onto next click and you said okay all right now actually we got this but now I'm gonna format the background a little bit so go to the background so let fill and then maybe add some a little bit of a dark background because you need a fire at night though right you don't need it in the morning so you have a fireplace so you're gonna be like a dark kind of a roof and then you add this rectangle to be the floor and um, this rectangle shape is gonna be a little bit below like in on the bottom then you want to send this rectangle shape to the back as well go to the uh, picture or texture fill and then you want to add the texture fill and I like this wood fill uh, wood texture which is good already don't forget that no shape outline okay Alright, so you got this super cute fireplace that I showed you step by step how to make it. You can actually change the background and also add some elements to it as well. For example, this coming Christmas, I already added this super cute kid Christmas tree here. And I have this link on the top right corner of the screen. So you can check out this video of how I made this super cute Christmas tree, okay? Don't forget to leave down the comment below how you feel about this video and also follow us on Instagram and Facebook and check out other video as well. Alright guys. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!